Has it ever happened to you that you ordered some electronic parts by mistake, but ultimately the whole story turned out to be something really good? Well, it certainly happened to me. So, I ordered this little LCD panel totally by mistake. I wanted another one. But, in the end, I found it to be cool. Let's see how this turned out. So here's the panel in question. As you can see it is really cheap and this is where I made the first mistake that I was so amazed by its capabilities, its size and its price that I actually forgot to check whether it has a touch feature or not. Of course my original intention was to purchase a panel which is a touch screen. Now you might ask why would I uh, purchase an Arduino shield in the first place nowadays because uh, Arduinos look a bit dated. Well uh, it was uh, for a quick project where I didn't really want to waste time with wiring and look at it, it is just a shield, you just put it on top of an Arduino Uno or an Arduino Mega and that's it, it's connected, you can go to the software part. The actual fact that it is a shield makes it ideal for beginners because there's a really low chance that you will fry your board or the panel with uh, misconnected wire or something like that. So let's have a quick look on the panel itself. It comes in a nice little protective cardboard box with anti-static bag and whatnot. And the panel itself is a shield. So it can sit on top of an Arduino Uno or an Arduino Mega or basically pretty much anything that is compatible, especially regarding the pin layout. So let me demonstrate the panel as it is working. I will connect it to an Arduino Uno and some power bank. So here we go. This is the graphic test example that is uh, uh, contained in the zip file downloadable from the, the product page. It uh, goes on quite for a long time, uh, demonstrates various capabilities of the board, scrolling, rotating, whatnot. Uh, all in all, it can be seen that uh, the module is uh, quite uh, capable when it comes to graphics, even though it is running with a really low power CPU. Colors are nice, in general, uh, I can't really comment on that. I mean, uh, for what you can expect from a LCD screen at this price. And as you can see, the same code and the same LCD is running with an Arduino Mega without any modification. So I just needed to recompile for the board and re-upload and that's it, exactly the same. And this pretty much works with all the examples. To actually use this board you will need a couple of things, but nothing is really serious. Uh, luckily for you, example code and documentation is located right on the product page on Banggood. So this is this link and uh, it will get you this zip file. It contains a folder with documents. Don't get too scared, these are not in Chinese, these are English documents. They just have a Chinese file name. Regarding example code, you have a lot here and you will need a couple of libraries. So here's a folder with libraries. Now there are a couple of libraries here and according to the documentation you should install these and uh, right from this zip file. Luckily for you, you don't have to mess with manually installing and uh, to be honest, most of these libraries are outdated. So actually what you will need for this panel is MCU friend and Adafruit GFX. Touch screen is not working because uh, this is not the touch version of this board. Actually there's a touch version, but that's another story. And this library is pretty much outdated and obsolete. Now the fact is that these two uh, required libraries can be installed directly from the Arduino IDE using the library manager. So as I said, you won't have to mess with these. You can just ignore that part of the documentation. On the other hand, example code can be useful 
if you want, but uh, all the libraries come with their own uh, example code as well. Once you have those libraries installed, you can just take a look around in your Arduino ID in the examples section and you will find working examples there. Now let's quickly see the installation steps for the libraries and the compilation for at least one sample program. Hey, thanks for watching this video, if you liked it, hit like, if you want to help my channel and see more of my content, hit subscribe. If you want to check out behind the scenes and want to know more about me, then follow me on social media, you can find the links here. Thank you again and see you next time.